okay now let's create the wireframe for youtube studio so i will grab this youtube studio interface here then click on the frame and click on android is small then reduce the size of this interface okay then rename the frame to yt studio wireframe then i will add the grid layout just click here and click on columns then four columns gutter will be 10 and margin will be 10 okay now let's create the first part so as the first we have the youtube studio logo then we have this upload button and bell icon then the user logo so let's click here let's create a rectangle like this i will make it height as 60 then i will add text like yt studio then change the font to bold and increase the font size like this make it center then click on ellipse and create icon like this so let's make it 20 by 20 and let's change the color to dark ash and we have another icon then we have the profile icon so i will click all of those icon then drag them here like this and i will make a avatar so to do that i will increase the size and click here then create this small ellipse like this then click a rectangle shape and create a rectangle then add some corners like this okay let's make it a bit bigger it's not center so try to make it center as we can okay then we have this channel name and subscriber count and the channel logo so let's create the channel logo first so let's create it like this then click a rectangle and here is the channel title then click text and add the subscriber account let's add it as like 10,000 and let's make it a bit bigger then we have a small text call total subscribers and let's highlight it and make the text to medium and decrease the size of the text okay let's highlight all of three objects and click on command g and click here then click on align vertical okay now the second part is completed and now we have the third part so to create it i will click the text or i can just copy the text from here so i will just over over this text and press alt and click on the text and paste it here let's make the height as 20 and make the size to medium and reduce the font size let's make it semi bold okay then text will be channel analytics then we have two boxes also we have text here so let's duplicate this text by clicking and dragging it with pressing alt and the text will be last 28 days and highlight it decrease the size of the text medium okay and put it here then click the 
text and make it vertically align center okay now we have two box so create a triangle like this let's make the size as 125 by 60 and the text will be so let's put it in here and text will be views and i will duplicate this text so let's make it 635 and highlight it then we have to increase the size 16 is looks okay and make it semi bold let's make it 50 okay good and duplicate this icon and put it here like this okay then highlight all of these sections and press command g to group it then duplicate it by pressing alt and dragging it to the right side then this text will be changed to watch time hours okay if we want we can just add those symbols so we can click the arrow and increase this then add it like this and we can adjust the arrow as we like so let's make it like this and also i will duplicate it and put it here so we can make this mid fidelity but low fidelity is already enough to get the idea of the design we forget to add the avatar logo here so i will click here and change the color to this color and add the avatar logo also we can add avatar logo like this just press ellipse and create the head part then click the line and add the line like this then change color to this and let's increase the stroke make it center then click on the line again and add the hand duplicate the hand like this and this is another type of avatar okay now we have this latest published content section so let's click here and duplicate this let's make it 20 and add latest published content all right then create a box create a rectangle like this and the size will be 340 by 160 and now here we have the video thumbnail and video url then the time so let's create the video thumbnail i will change color to this color let's change the color like this then click here and add two line so images are always show as this so image as a box and the cross like this then we have the text to create text i can use lines so click here and here is the title then i will increase the 
size to 8 and let's decrease color to this color and then we have the second text so the second text will be bit smaller and it will be look like this then we have a line like this and i will decrease the color to light color okay now we have this small icons so let's add those icons just create the ellipse like this and change the ellipse color to this color okay then we have some text so i will duplicate the text from here then i have to move it to the front of the frame and it will be six then one and let's make it two and let's fake it so 20 and 160 160 okay great and now we have those other text so let's add those text so I will copy this text and paste it here and I will quickly add those text. Now I will add those text like this. Okay. Let's make it vertically centered. Click all of those icons and make it align right. Okay. Now we have this box. So let's create that box too. Like this. Then I will duplicate this content. I can duplicate all of this content and add it here so you can do the same or you can create it from scratch so I will highlight all of those content and just paste it here then make it about like this okay Let's put it like this and nice. Get 
podcast 12 okay nice now we have to add the bottom part to do that i will just increase bit of the design like this when i increase it i just click on the command and click the corner and increase it then click here and paste this like this and now we have some links or buttons so make a ellipse this is the icon and let's change icon color to this color and duplicate this text make it here then at the text dashboard let's highlight it and make it little bit smaller let's make it size as 9 ok great and same type then duplicate the text we have to duplicate it for four times so one two three four okay and the next one will be content and the next one and uh, we takes the last one comments not the last one the fourth one comment and the fifth one run. So, highlight like this and make it center and also press command G by selecting the component so we can group it make it center and press command G make it center press command G and make it center then I will make it here here then I will click all of those content and click here and click on distribute horizontal spacing and it will look like this so here is the final wireframe in the next video we will create this for instagram so 